Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Your Highness. Sheikh Saud bin Sagar al Qasimi, member of the Supreme, Supreme Council, ruler of Ras al Khaimah, and to the Arab Aviation Summit for hosting such an important gathering and inviting me here today. It's so wonderful to be surrounded by so many representatives of the industry I love the most aviation. There's something I like to do at the beginning of my talks, and that's to ask you all to close your eyes. Go and do it. Close your eyes. And now I want you all to picture a pilot. What does it look like? How is it dressed? What color is the uniform? Do you see any medals? Now in all honesty, please tell me, how many of you pictured the male pilot in your head? Please raise your hands. Was he looking like Tom Cruise maybe? I don't blame you for not thinking about a woman. We don't hear about them enough and we don't tell their stories often enough to create a dent in the historical narrative of, avi of aviation. But as surprised as you may be, women aviators have been the very start of the aviation industry. You don't believe me? Let me take you on a quick history tour around the world. It was 1784 when a French woman named Marie Elizabeth Thibault became the first to fly in a hot air balloon. In 1810, a lady by the name of Sophie Blanchard became Napoleon's chief of air service. She had made the name for herself when her husband convinced her to fly with him in an attempt to lure back paying crowds at a time when hot air balloons were losing out in popularity. And she took to it like a duck to water. Her daredevil stunts earned her popularity and titles. And when the French monarchy was re restored, King Louis XVIII named her official aeronaut of the restoration. Incredible story, isn't it? And I bet you're all hearing this right now for the very first time. There are women in every country, in every decade, and at every point of the aviation industry development, not just the famous Amelia Earhart. In 1934, balloonist Jeanette Picard became the first to reach the stratosphere. In 1932, Winford Drinkwater became the first woman in the world to hold a commercial pilot's license. We women pilots of the modern day owe so much to her for breaking that glass ceiling and inspiring us all to new possibilities. The list is long. It includes every country in the world and it spans across two and a half centuries. If we want to be more inclusive, it's important we change the narrative. We must share the stories of the women who contributed to the history of aviation. Why? Because representation matters. It is only when we hear those stories that we know that equal opportunities exist. That we don't have to write uh, uh, on a blank page. We just simply uh, continue a story that began a long time ago. I didn't grow up with those stories, but I was privileged to be born in a country as incredible as the UAE, that from the start has encouraged and supported women in the pursuit of their dreams. Not everyone has lived with the same privilege. That's why it was important for me to create an opportunity for inclusivity. That encompassed my own experience. Today, I'm here as first lieutenant pilot of the Dubai Police Air Wing, the first woman to join the force. And this is thanks to the help and support of our visionary leadership, without, without whom this would have not been possible. It is thanks to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum that policies have been changed to create space for women to uh, for um, inclusivity in the air wing. While I was the first, we are now three, and the future looks promising for more growth. I wanted my journey to serve as positive and impactful inspiration, and I promised I would do all that I could to use my experience as a launch pad for all other women.
In 2019, I set up Shehana, the Women in Aviation Association, established with the goal to create a support framework to shift the ratio of women within the aviation industry. I'm fully aware that the timing was somewhat unfortunate given the tremendous hit that the aviation industry has suffered because of the pandemic. But it's in times of struggle that we are the most resilient and Shihana is now ready to create the impact we all wished for when it was established. Just to be clear, when I say a career in aviation, I don't mean a pilot. The industry is vibrant and full of all kinds of expertise. We just would like to see more women contributing to it as lawyers, doctors, engineers, creatives. With all the innovations we are witnessing right now, I can't think of a more exciting space to be working in. We established the association with four main goals. To attract female participation, to suggest changes to policies and regulations, to represent women in aviation in all events, and to empower women through programs. These four goals require the work and support of many and the commitment of everyone, because it, only, it is only when we come together that we do our best work. To achieve these goals, we require the participation from everyone within the aviation industry to support the journey for inclusivity. It is thanks to our collaborations that we advance communications as we just did with our partnership with Dubai Police, with whom we co-created a campaign video for, for all the other women who are interested and curious about the aviation industry. Representation is important. It paves the way for youth. It helps define expectations and opportunities. When we are represented, we innately know that there is a space for us. It feels like a natural invitation as opposed to a challenge. It is time we change the narrative. We tell stories of the women who paved the way, the first, we, to expand the view so that next time you're asked to picture or think about a pilot, you may just as easily picture a woman in your head. May the next generation grow up knowing the names of those aviation pioneers their stories, dreaming of equal achievements, and being inspired by their legacy. And may you join us in our efforts with Shehana to redefine the industry through inclusivity and opportunity. This is an official invite. Join us, because together with our love for the skies, we are unstoppable. The sky has no gender, and the opportunity to fly belongs to everyone.